Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Let's Really Ghost Thief 2. Today's mission is the second mission, shipping and receiving. As before, even though my movies are working, I kind of prefer to keep them separate, so... I have separately uploaded the movie to the playlist if you're interested in watching it. Let's look at our objectives. Gilver knows he's sending out a very important shipment tomorrow, but what he doesn't know is that it's being redirected to your fence. Find a new shipping label and put it on the big crate outside of Gilver's office. Some rare spice has been smuggled through the warehouse district recently, or lately. Find it and you'll make some quick cash on the black market. The landlord is coming tomorrow. You need to steal at least 850 loot to cover the rent and other expenses. You're a thief, not a murderer. Being the professional that you are, you can pull off this job without killing anyone. After you're done, you'll need to get out of the area so you don't get caught. Return to the stack of crates where you first entered the warehouse district. That's all pretty straightforward. We won't be making any purchases, I'll say right off the bat that it is possible to Supreme Ghost the mission, it is possible to Perfect Thief the mission, but you can't do both. I'm gonna Perfect Thief it, and I'll show you where the Supreme busts happen as I go. I'm just... I discovered in the Thief Gold playthrough I'm entirely too obsessed with getting all the loot to really do anything else, but as always, we'll be as Supreme as possible. We'll skip making any purchases. And so we arrive in the warehouse district. Let's peek at our map. Again, we've got a reasonably detailed map, at least of the exterior. As we go from north to south, we've got Building A. There's a garbage chute entrance, which we won't mess with. Area 131, Area 411, Building B, and the docks. The bay doors to each of the individual warehouses are highlighted in red. And we've got a detailed map of Building A. We can see all the different occupants of the various warehouses, which is nice. It'll at least make it easy when I refer to a certain area. There's a map of the second floor. Here's a map of Building B, equally detailed. First floor, second floor, third floor, and the notes page. So really, we've got a pretty detailed map. Now, I'll tell you this, too. This mission is pretty big. It's got a total of 1,665 loot. It's got 17 pickpockets. Of course, the stat screen says 18, but that's a lie. And it's got 13 secrets to find. And just so you know, the objective, although it wasn't clear on the first screen, is to find five bags of spice. So, let's get started. The first thing we need to do isn't all that obvious, but the first thing we need to do is go get the first secret <coughs> because we need a rope arrow. So... <sighs> need to descend this stack of crates without alerting anyone to my presence. Then we can crouch under this one. You have to be careful because there are guys up on catwalks. There are lots of different ways you can get seen inside this mission. Hello? Anyone there? As you heard in resounding detail just then. <clears throat> I guess the first thing we can do is go to this crate and get our first piece of loot, since it's on the way, after all. Inside this crate are three flares, but more importantly, a statue worth 15. Brings our total to 15 as well. Now I'm told it's fully possible to mantle onto this shed, which is what I'm going to try to accomplish. Tough, but possible. I'm not sure if the key is to be stationary or to try and make a running jump. I 
Oh, we have a guard coming now. You will notice that we started with no rope arrows. I guess I should survey the starting gear. Sword, blackjack, 20 broadheads, 3 water arrows, 1 noisemaker arrow, and <laughs> compass, lockpicks, and 1 slow fall potion. from this side. If I could make that jump, that would certainly be easier. But I don't think I can. That's that's not possible. It's going to have to be the shed, but I don't know exactly how to do this. There must be some way to do it consistently. Come on, G. You can do it.
Let's... Potion testers needed. Inquire within. This is Lady Angelica, experimental apothecary. Hmm. Immediately notice that we're able to reach the door through the shed. That's odd. Hear the poor guy trying the mantle, but it's just not working. Is that you? Wonder, maybe, maybe I can make the jump from the landing in front of the warehouse. Who's noising about then? Certainly seems more plausible, doesn't it? Let's give that a try. <laughs> No dice. Not gonna lie to y'all, this is kinda killing me. Wonder if jumping it wonder if stacking my potion might help at all. It's the only thing I have available to stack with, but it's worth a shot. seem to be helping. But I feel like it ought to, dang it. <laughs> I don't think the potion's helping at all. That was interesting.
just, I don't feel like this should be this tough. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? Let's just do this. Well. Oh my gosh, how much easier will that be? Unbelievable. I feel like I've been wasting all this time. Trying to do a mantle that's not even gonna work. That just goes to show you the value of not being wedded to one particular solution when you're trying to solve one of these problems. Of course, this is rife with its own difficulties, but it at least seems possible. I could just get in there a little faster. <laughs> okay, maybe I have to... Maybe I have to wait for that patroller to leave. Let's try one more time. See if I can't get just a little more speed going. Like I'm so afraid of having to restart when I really haven't done anything yet. That's kind of funny, if you think about it. What do I see there? Okay, yeah, let's just... Let's just wait him out down here. Sorry about flailing about trying to do that mantle for so long. This should be easier. <gasps> What's that? Yep, that's a much better way 
to get after this. And there is secret one of 13, our first rope arrow. And I just realized that my lockpicks aren't bound to the keys I want them on. Prefer to have them on F4 and F5 like they were in Thief 1. Now we just need to wait for this place to clear out. <laughs> Get back down to street level. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait for him to patrol back. I just got tired of waiting after all those failed mantles, so sorry about that, folks. Keep an eye on him, and then try getting out of here. Well, that wasn't good, but we made it back down to street level, so. Good, 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 good. So before I attack the building, I want to get a couple of pick... Well, the building A. I want to get a couple of pickpockets from outside. Keep an eye on the archer, because he does turn this way. We don't really need to worry about getting his arrows now. We can do that from behind him. But uh, maybe we can do it now anyway. Nobody better be taffing around. Yeah, he turned too soon. I figured he would. Nobody be we'll leave that alone. We'll get it through the door behind him later. That's much easier to do. For this patroller, it's a different story. We want to grab his key now.
I thought thought his patrol was a little longer. Let's wait here and grab the key after he turns around. Anyway, there's our first pickpocket out of 17. And I actually don't have any use for it now, so I'll just I'll just drop it back on his patrol route. Is there are plenty more of these? But I do need to wait for the archer to turn. That's good enough. So now we head back over here once again. You have to pay attention to the guard down there because you need to <coughs> s manage that climb to this roof without alerting him. He's got a uh, pickpocket we'll need, but <coughs> approaching him from that metal walkway is really not the best way to get it. Hmm. I'm starting to see. So. The first thing we're going to do, well, the second thing, I guess, is get into the top floor offices of Building A through this open window. <laughs> oh. Too far. <laughs> Come, come, what's that? Have to be careful of that guy, too. And just like that, we're inside. So there's some documents here to read. Noah Germ, Lens Grinder. I hold thy work in much regard, and thou knowest it was on mine own recommendation that my brotherhood contracted thy work. I trust by now thou hast received a small shipment of Adidizio crystal. By the coming weekend, I shall need ten lenses ground from the crystal thou hast received. Each lens must span three units in width, with a breadth of exactly two units. Grind thou one face concave and one convex. Make haste, and then bring me thy work for my approval. Friend Capeza, 0457. Sven Meinel, Meinel Stakes. Lady Angelica, Experimental Apothecary. Lord Porter, Fine Art for Sale. Our yearly inspection of your space was last week. Our inspector found that he could not get to the second floor because the elevator button on the first floor was broken. Why didn't you report this problem? Please see me about this matter. I don't like it when a piece of equipment on my property is not working. We have also been receiving complaints from E.B. Bramrick. He rents the office space below your second floor office and he claims to be hearing odd noises late at night. Please look into that. J. Rampone, Vice President. Sid Capeza, inventor. <laughs> E.B. Bramrick, accountant. <laughs> Venick Kilgore, Kilgore weaponsmithing. D.M. Gilver, Gilver Exporting Company. Lucky Selentura, entrepreneur. You, you have been evicted. Take two days to clear out your things or they will be removed by the management. <laughs> T.M. Blackheart, musician. No, I should have joined the army. There's another building A key. That's our second of 17 pickpockets. Mm -hmm. 
TM Blackheart Musician, Main Office, J. Rampone Vice President Rampone Dockside Shipping, and Rampone President Rampone Dockside Shipping. He's got two. Our tenant Lucky Celentura has not paid his rent in quite a while. No one has seen him for weeks, and I've seen wanted posters in the city streets with his picture on it lately. I've been suspicious of him for quite a while, and I'd bet you his golden dice that he was running a gambling ring out of that space. I don't think he'll be back with the bluecoats looking for him. I have put an eviction notice on his area, 0266, and I plan on clearing out the place in a few days to rent it to Gonzalez. I felt bad that we had to throw Gonzalez out to make room for Capeza, so I cut him a deal on this space seeing that it's smaller than his old area. Speaking of Capeza, could you ask him to keep the noise down? J. Rampone, Vice President. I was recently contracted by the Mechanists to develop special lenses for them. I just received a small shipment of rare and valuable Adenizio crystal for this purpose. For security reasons, I would like to request the installation of a metal face into my area within the next week. I don't have the funds to replace the crystals if they get stolen, and I hear Mechanists can be unforgiving. Noah Germ. And the box up top has a purse worth 75, brings our total to 90. Office personnel only. Mechanist technology. This device is now configured for thee so that the managers of the warehouse may easily enter any tenant's area at any time. When thou wishest to open such a locked area, thou must needst enter the four numerals of its address into this keyed device. When thou hast entered the correct number, see that it shall display on the dials to thy left. This shall cause the large green bay door of thy desired area to open. Thou mayst only open one door at one time, and if thou open another door, the first shall close. If thou hast any questions, direct them at once to me. Friend Capetza 0457. Something moved there. And... Naturally, that was bad timing. <clears throat> Now there's one piece of loot here in J. Rampone, Vice President Rampone Dockside Shipping that we need to grab. It's that vase over there. Huh? I need him to stop at his desk. <clears throat> Who's that? <laughs> Weekly financial report. TM Blackheart, rent paid in full. Lucky Selentura, rent three weeks overdue. DM Gilver, rent paid in full. Venick Kilgore, rent due next week. E.B. Bramrick, rent paid by D.M. Gilver last week. Sid Capeza, rent paid by Mechanists. Lord Porter, rent paid in full. Lady Angelica, rent due next week. Sven Meinel, rent paid in full. Noah Germ, rent paid in full. <coughs> Who are you? Okay, so we we're, we're gonna wanna loop around behind him. When he makes that stop. Time for another visit to the tailor, I think. Oh, velvet has gotten so expensive. And what it's worth it. Even the trading might go on Used to. Uh, let's let's just pick a warehouse to rob first. <clears throat> I think we'll start with um, let's start with Noah Germ. O nine two eight. Be careful because if it wasn't obvious yet. Guards can see you through all these different windows <coughs> in the doors and such. Oh. 
just roll in here. Well, not quite yet. Enter O nine two eight. Despite how loud it is, the guards will never hear that. Now we do want to take this yellow key with us because it opens the sheds we can use to open other warehouses. Huh? Oh man, oh man. The windows on the doors are a serious problem. Hmm. Thought I saw hmm? something. Hello? We need to get into this room to wait for the timing to be right, which is to say not now. Okay, let's try now. Okay, good. Get his broadhead arrows. Our third pickpocket. No, no, you, ah! Of course. <coughs> Oddly enough, one of the best hiding places is right on top of this bar if you can get there. So his arrows are our third pickpocket out of 17. Now, I'm gonna work my way around the building. To get three more archer pickpockets from the various outer walkways. cataloging all the incoming shipment for the mechanist. Every single bloody thing they order is made out of metal. I've been lifting heavy crates all day long, and I think my back is about to break. Bunch of taffers in this city. I live near Dayport, and I used to have a nice view of the mountains. I used to watch the sun. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get his arrows on the other side. I want to try... I don't want to trigger that conversation if I can help it. Because they both start patrolling inside this very building and that'll make my life a lot harder.
that he ought to. Hello. Show yourself. All right. Just a tad more patience. I think that I can just get away with pushing me around. I'll show All right. You someday. There's our fourth pickpocket out of seventeen. Just need to listen a little bit more carefully. There's our fifth pickpocket out of 17. Now if we wait here, <clears throat> the archer from this side will come in and we can get our sixth pickpocket. Hello? Yeah, okay, I didn't think that was him. There he is. Something moved there. All right, well, let's not do that. Let's just be a little more patient. Is that you? Dang it. No matter, just have to cross to the other side. We should be just fine. There we go. There's our sixth pickpocket out of 17. Now. I'm gonna go after the seventh. The archer in front of building A. <coughs> Who's there? I don't think I can make it with him facing. There we go. What Something was that noise? Have to be silent. <coughs> Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. <coughs> Look Is that you? See anything? 
Garrett seems to have more trouble mantling in Thief 2 than he did in the original. Which is impressive, because he had plenty of problems in the original. But I digress, as always. I just want to get to my spot on top of the bar. Because it's the easiest way to sneak out by far. Alright, alright, alright. Down to ground level. I wonder... I wonder if the building A key from up here unlocks that. Main office. Time for them to be recognized. Hey. hey, you over there! Don't move! Don't worry, we're gonna reload. I just wanna see if this key works. <coughs> it doesn't? Okay. How about my yellow one? Nope. Looks like we're gonna have to pick the lock. But I don't want to alert him either. I guess I have to get his pickpocket from outside after all. Okay. Time to trigger this conversation. Who should get some sleep? I remember what it was like to sleep. Boss left this morning and put me in charge of unloading and cataloging all the incoming shipments for the mechanists. Every single bloody thing they order is made out of metal. I've been lifting heavy crates all day long and I think my back is about to break. Bunch of taffers in this city. I live near Dayport and I used to have a nice view of the mountains. I used to watch the sunrise with my wife every morning. But now, that metal monstrosity casts a permanent shadow over my house. Oh, the Mechanist Tower, you mean? The city has certainly <coughs> changed over the last year. A lot of that's because of the Mechanists. I was in Dayport just last week. All the trees are gone, and there are giant chimneys spewing up foul soot. My whole neighborhood stinks of that blackened air. My house used to be white, but now it's gone gray with that smudge. And my son coughs constantly. Well... There's more to the Mechanist than just factories. While I was in Dayport, I had to stop by the Mechanist Tower to pick up a payment. I couldn't believe what I saw. They had these mechanical faces that watched me and sent shivers down my spine, I tell you. <sighs> yeah, I know all about those metal watchers. They installed some here in the Building B the other day. I heard they plan on replacing us guards with them because they don't need to give them pay at the end of the week. I heard rumors that we're all going to be fired. If that's true, then I'll have to live in the woods like a pagan. Let's let him get by. <clears throat> then we'll go ahead and nab the pickpocket off of this archer. Brings our total up to seven. Now, I think I'll go ahead and clear Noah germs. Not too tough to do. Nobody better be taffing around down here. Don't want that alert, though.
I already see trouble brewing. We need the pickpockets from the guys stuck on that barrel. But all in good time. I'll worry about that when I'm actually ready to cross that area and move on to building B. <clears throat> Which is gonna be a while because there's just so much loot to get out of building A. have to watch for the guy upstairs on the catwalks because he can see you down here. Should be able to slip into germs now. Go ahead and close. Germ is the man that makes those magic lenses. Probably some valuable lenses. Definitely worth it to close the big door behind you. But you're not safe when you do that because anyone patrolling outside can see you through the window on that red door. But in here on the shelves, there are two pieces of Adonizio crystal. There's one. The other, I think, is on actually on top. <gasps> Those bring our total to 190. And then let's let's do be quiet. Just feel, just feel safer that way. And then inside his office, there's some glasses which bring our total to 240 and some reading material. Invoice: 10 pounds of rare Adonizio crystal, 6 grinding stones, 10 sacks of fine sand. Polishing rags, clamps, oil, and soap. Fair enough. Now, I want to work my way back to the main office. Before I do that... I want to cut through here. <clears throat> so far so good as far as alerts go. So, while I'm out here... Who's there? I do believe this guy turns, eventually. <clears throat> He does, but he seems obsessed with facing this way. Oh good, oh good. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we do need to manage that descent silently. Nobody pushes Benny around. What do I see there? Mm -hmm. It's awful cold out here tonight. 
There we go. There we go. And that is our eighth pickpocket out of 17. I'm just gonna work my way around the building. <laughs> I do need to get his pickpocket from out here. Something there. Because, as it turns out, picking the lock behind him will trip an alert. So, only a first alert, but to the extent possible, I'd like to avoid those. And getting his pickpocket from over here is possible. So, mm. just need him to cooperate and turn around. Excellent. There's our ninth pickpocket out of 17. As I work my way around here. Couple of more, couple more of those to get out here. Now I'm inclined to go ahead and get the two uh, the two other pickpockets out here if I can. That'll be ten and eleven. These other two archers. Hmm. Seeing things. Okay. <clears throat> What's that I see? Pretty heavy guard traffic out here, as you can see. 
But plenty of shadows to hide into, so not that big a deal. We're gonna have to get on top of those crates to get the one behind that bear who's stuck on that barrel. You have been evicted. Take two days to clear out your things, or they will be removed by the management. So this is, of course, Lucky Selentura. Timing was off there because of this fellow on his way over. Sometimes it works out like that. You have to be very patient. Maybe we can get his arrow now. As he's headed the other way. seems to be working his way closer to the corner, but I guess I don't know that for sure. Maybe we can free him with a quick load. I hear Captain Davidson came into port about four hours ago. That's what I heard. I hope that dirty smuggler brought us some spice. There's none to be found anywhere within this cursed city anymore. I know what you mean. I used to grow my own spice, as well as fruits and vegetables, but all my crops died months ago and won't grow back no matter what I try. It's as if all the plant life in the city up and died. Have you noticed that all the trees in Eastport are wilted and dead? Maybe Davidson will smuggle in trees next. Huh? I don't know where he's getting the spice from, but his prices are steep. He's quickly becoming a rich man. That last one was our tenth pickpocket out of seventeen. And this fellow here... Huh? What? If I can manage a silent drop... As the eleventh. <gasps> That's eleven out of seventeen pickpockets. <gasps> Is someone there? Who saw me? Could have been any of a large number of folks, I admit. Something moved there. That you? All right. Pay attention, Travis. I want to do one other thing, actually, 
before I start clearing more warehouses. And that is... I want to come over to this side of building A. No new pickpockets to worry about here, thankfully. Obviously, have to be a little bit more careful. I wanted to come all the way over here because there's one more piece of loot stashed outdoors. We can get it with that rope arrow we struggled so much to get at the very start. As we come down here, we find another statue worth 15, brings our total to 255. And with that, I'm ready to start clearing warehouses. <laughs> I wonder if I can get back to the roof from this one. I don't think I can. No, but I can get back inside building A, which is good. wait for that guy and then I'm gonna make my descent into that inner yard What was that? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Just because I've been here. Just get away with it. Hmm? Okay, gotta let him build up a little more distance so he doesn't hear the door open. just a little longer. The guy out there doesn't see me. Who's there? Can't make that noise either. What's over there? Still moved too fast. And he's already back. Unreal. Let's speed up a little more. 